So you remember how I mentioned that uh, the enemies are going to start leveling up? You'll notice that they're all leveled up, so the lizard guys are now in like a like a yellow-orange color, yellow-orange-red color. Uh, the mages now uh, not only do a better job of evading, but they also teleport away. And the guys who previously had shields now have lances that they use to run towards you uh, to do sort of like a like a lunge damage thing. Nice part is, of course, that this area right here. Uh, yeah, I already put the key back. I was grinding. I forgot. Um, the nice part is this church heals you automatically like a save point, so... I can just sort of use this area, this, just this, this what you're looking at right now to grind out probably another level or two uh, before I can, before I even think about maybe moving on with this. Just, I'm gonna need probably another level, I'd say, in order to take on the next boss. Maybe it's two to be safe. Um, he's not terribly difficult. Uh, neither one of them are all that terribly difficult. It's just a matter of not taking damage, which is the key to every East boss. Is I just what do you mean? I mean, yeah, sure, you're only doing three damage to him, but just don't take any, just don't take any hits, and you'll you'll beat him eventually, right? And it's like, yeah, that's nice. I'd rather spend the next half hour grinding out a level and beat him in 15 in you know under three minutes than to spend a half an hour. You know, not having, having to, like, completely never, you know, just perfect it. You know, take no damage at all, ever. But this is not like a Dark Souls run where I could just fucking throw all of my, all of my stats into, to attack. And then because I'm not taking damage, I don't, I'm not concerned about health or defense. I'm just gonna put, put it all into attack and just be a big old glass cannon. Now this game doesn't do that. This game is... Well, you need armor, because armor is going to give you your defense. You need your sword, because it's going to give you the attack. And then levels highly, highly matter in this game. And then you go from having trouble, well, at least in up through hard mode, I should say. You could go from, I'm having trouble with this, beating this boss, to... Um, I'm now owning this boss, you know? Whereas, in, like, even in Inferno mode... You know, you're only kind of mitigating damage. Like, I was trying to fight this stupid dragon earlier, and he was doing like 50 fucking damage every time he hit me. Which meant that, yeah, I've got a lot of health, as I've got a lot of health now, as you can see. But it's like, I can't take that many hits. You know, so like, it starts to become like a, a, a timer, if you will. That like, you're like, at a certain point, the game's just gonna end you because you'll take you'll take damage here, and you'll take damage there, and then you'll take damage again later on, and you know a five-minute battle you take damage five times, and you know that's that's your whole health practically. You know you're essentially one hit away from being dead. Which I, I I get it. Are you supposed to be difficult? Supposed to be challenging? Particularly on the upper difficulties, you're supposed to really kind of learn the ballast patterns and get really good at it, but... This is me trying to get through this area as quickly as possible. If if I can, I'm hoping to get to the top here to see if there's like armor or something, and then I'll just teleport back. <coughs> Guess I died. Alright, another cut forward here, um, we're gonna go back to town, I'm gonna, uh, pour some money into a health salve to increase my health pool. I've already, uh, leveled up my, uh, chest armor Welcome. with that's Ravalor. Thank you. 16,000, that's fucking ridiculous. I mean... Don't be what a is stranger. that? 100, no, it's 160,000. I've not cracked 100,000 yet, and you're gonna tell me I gotta go another 60,000 on top of that? Ridiculous. I'm sure the game's just gonna start pouring money on me 
like fucking you know Scrooge McDuck in his in his money bin, but like he's. Alright, we're gonna go the other way this time. Um, see if we can go the upper route. So I'm gonna go up these steps. Uh, it door is open, so that's good. That means there's probably another route I haven't gone. I mean, obviously this is a route I haven't gone yet, but there's probably, you know, stuff to pick up in here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick it up. Maybe some armor, maybe a sword, at least some Ravalor, you know? Give me some fucking fat Ravalor, that'll be great. Just so whenever I get my weapon or armor, I'll be able to immediately take it to max. Fine by me. Alright, there's a crack in the wall. Three hundred and twenty Ravalor, that's a lot of Ravalor. Not the most you can get out of a treasure chest like that, but that's a lot. Alright, I'm gonna need to make sure I have my boots on. Otherwise I'm not going anywhere. Let's get them boots back on. Good boulders now. Alright, well, we're just gonna pretend none of these guys exist except for this thing. Fuck this thing. In particular. Here's a question for everyone What is the most ideal type of um, uh, timer? Okay. Um, I bought a timer off of Amazon. I'm used to time, you know, light timers, basically, they turn on at a certain time, and they turn off at a certain, oh, whoopsie, oh well, lava area, I'll have to, if I decide to go in the lava, I'll have to re-equip my Adol ankle protectors, protected from the fiery lava I'm be walking on. Um, I asked this question because I bought one off of Amazon, like I just said, and for some reason, it decided I bought one that doesn't, it doesn't, it has an on-off timer. You can tell it what days, what hours, when you want the lights to be on, when you want the lights not to be on. Um, but this fucking thing seems like it keeps turning on and off. Like, it's trying to convey the idea that there's someone here who keeps walking into the room, and turning on the light, and then walking out of the room and turning it off. And at first I thought it was just malfunctioning, but now I think it's actually like a, like a, a required or a designed feature. So, if you remember earlier, uh, there was a, a hint about the, uh, about the, uh, whatever you call that. Oh, almost. So close. Well, I did what I wanted to do, so that's fine. We can climb the rest of the way up. Uh, there's a hint about the, uh, the one lantern the lady gave you, uh, which up to this point didn't seem like all that important of a... Yeah, battle shield! Alright, we can level that up too. Um, not now, but later. Um, but the other half of that lantern, which, like I said, didn't seem all that important in that cave we went into, because it wasn't dark enough for it to really make much of a difference, uh, was it, it, it talks about being able to see the true path, so if I equip that, I'm pretty sure those blocks that fall down will probably be grayed out or something, let me know which one is a, a legitimate, um, block, or legitimate place to stand, so, got two more places we gotta explore, and we'll go take on a boss be exciting, I'm sure.
We're doing okay on our levels. Right now, looks like I got about... Oh, I don't know. What is that? An eighth? An eighth or one-tenth of a bar left? Or, I'm sorry. A, 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 a 20 to... 10 to 20 percent left on the bar. Down there, below my health. Um, and I just need to, you know, obviously get that bar all the way up, and we'll be good to go. I'm guessing this probably leads me back. Yeah, this leads me back to that area I was grinding in for a while. So I'm just going to heal myself real quick. Okay, now we're just going to go out and uh, we will try to go up upstairs to see what's in the other tower. And then, of course, uh, try to find where the save spot is, which will be near the next boss. One probably leads to progress, and the other one will lead me to, um... Um... The other... whatever. And not more... more lore, maybe? I don't know. I mean, unless they're gonna hand me my sword here at the top of this tower. up here last time I was coming up this direction. I noticed this platform about directly above my head right now. And uh, I was thinking to myself, well, I can't make that jump. I can definitely get it from the other side of this path here. So, 250 Ravel Ore, that's good. I mean, I'm over a thousand Ravel Ore at this point. That is fine. So, uh, it's kinda interesting you decided to teleport there, but, uh, not smart. Also, I don't care, I'm not gonna fight you. You're on level ground, maybe. That guy didn't wanna live. That guy didn't wanna live. Enemies mean, just don't wanna exist in this world, they just wanna... Come, you know, get up, get paid by the government, not do any work. You just reap the benefits the rest of us work so hard for. Right, it all is red pilled. Adol Christian, I can't believe yes, you've Bishop come. Yes, Bishop Tell me, do you know what's happening? Adol explained everything that had occurred and informed the bishop that he had come in search of Helen. I see. So Ellen is here as well. It pains me to say that Chester is the one who locked me in here. He did so immediately after everyone in the castle began to transform. I spoke with him. I inquired as to his objective. And in brief, he actually told me. It seems he intends to use the castle's clock tower to release the energy of the statues. Count Maguire had it built several years ago, and I believe it functions as... Theoretically, it interferes with the vein of spirits that runs beneath Velgana, redirecting its flow. If true, the Count may have used this device to harness the statue's powers from afar. Likely, his true goal was to track their locations, so he could fully unleash their powers for his own deification. But Chester Hooray. read into it and brought about the dark mist that hangs within these halls. It twists the minds of the people it touches, transforming Transforms them, them, changing them into bloodthirsty beasts. And sadly, and unfortunately, those affected by this mist are lost to us forever. Its changes cannot be undone. Adol, please, you must stop Chester. His desire for revenge may be justified, in as much as it can be. But in seeking this revenge, 
He has sinned most deeply. In the chapel, why would it be there? At a moment, the maid did speak of something. So there exists a secret door in the chapel which leads to an underground waterway. Rumors are true, it was built before my appointment as chaplain here. But I know nothing of its exact location. So it might explain why Alno's pendant could be lying in such a particular spot. I only got a little bit more to another level up, so let's grind out these guys, see if we can, you know, get within striking distance of the, uh, yeah, we could do that, get in striking distance of the, um, of the next level up, and then we'll find the save spot, and then we'll be next to the next boss, so that'll be fun. Let's see if we have enough time in this episode to do it or not. I don't know. It takes me a long time. It'll probably be next episode. It takes me very little time. We might be able to get it in this episode. that back on because as you can see it kind of makes the places I can't stand on translucent so I know to only jump on the things that aren't translucent also that's a pretty good attack for taking those guys down and don't fall down because that would be embarrassing Now you're dead. Please stay dead. Thank you. Nobody likes it when you are a dick. You can see my toe touched part of that, so that's why that fell. That's fine. Don't fall down, Adol. Take a quick peek here. I don't know if there's anything down here, that's good. And there's the save spot, sweet. Alright, I'm gonna grind out another level or two. And then we'll take on the boss. Oh no, there's a wolf. I'm not sure if this is a dog with armor, which would be fucking cool. Or oh, this is some sort of, like, robot thing like the last guy was. Well, he kind of looked like a robot, I guess. Oh, uh, that fire attack's pretty devastating. But he also stands pretty still during it, so... Yeah, that'd be a good time to really rack up the damage. Yeah, just like that. Look at that. Look at him melt. I take a little bit of damage. Great. But I just like took half his health in that one string. I'm also avoiding one of his most deadly attacks too. And that is not it. Just 
very close to one-shotting him. That's okay. See that bouncing attack he's doing right there? That's his most dangerous attack. Because he's invulnerable during that. And, uh, he tends to try to, like... He can't really stand in one spe specific area. Otherwise, you will die. So this is sort of the... One of the best ways to fight him. Is as, he, as you're jumping, you just release the... Uh, yeah, you release that, and then he can't- you do a little bit of damage to him. At the same time, he can't damage to you because you're guarding as part of that attack. But again, he's not doing a ton of damage to me either, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well, he's not using this fire attack enough, making me mad. Bam. 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 I'm gonna die again. I mean, I, I did much better in the first go around than I did this one. Alright, we'll give another run here in a sec. Definitely harder than he was the first time. That's the attack we're kind of looking for, though. And when possible, we want to kind of zoom through that. Yeah, so the more he does that attack, the more damage I'm going to deal to him. We're doing pretty good right now. We're about the same health as we were a second ago. Uh, when we were fighting him, we only had, like, a sliver of health. So that's good. I'm at half health right now, which is not great. Jump, dash, you do a little bit of damage. Jump, dash, a little bit more damage. And then our thing should be ready here in a sec. Ninety health, not great. I get lucky though. I get the timing right on that. I'll probably be able to beat him. I only have seventeen health now, and I'm dead. Let's give that another try. I feel like we can do it here. Yeah, you want to avoid that attack. It's so devastating. That's the other one. The fire breath is pretty devastating too, but it's also a great opportunity if you can get around behind him to uh, um, deal lots of big damage. We're doing good on the health race right now. You can see where I'm doing just a little bit damage, 50 damage or more, and he hasn't done any damage to me from those attacks. Anyways. Yes, this is the dangerous attack because he doesn't, you know, have a quote-unquote set schedule, so he's not bouncing only in a, you know, a V formation. He occasionally, you know, all right, big damage. So unfortunately for him, uh, he summoned his wolf pack on the opposite direction that there, that I was on. So I was able to push him while the wolf pack was still behind me and do some big damage to him. So now he's going the other way, so I'm going to actually have to get through them. That's alright. Oh, he's dead. Or I could have been dead. I only had 11 health there. Jeez. Didn't see that until now. You can hear the bell ringing in the background. And I got the Holy Cross. Which means we're going to go put that in the... Uh, why do I forget? Whatever that's called. Organ. 
and uh, we'll continue on with this game. Uh, but that will be next time. So until then, I hope you guys all have a good one.